Active weather alerts. Hurricane warning. Issued 10.23 p.m. October 8, 2024, National Weather Service. Hurricane warning remains in effect. Storm surge warning remains in effect. Asterisk locations affected. Tampa. Apollo Beach. West Chase. Asterisk wind. Latest local forecast. Equivalent strong tropical storm force. Wind. Peak wind forecast. 55 to 70 miles per hour with gusts to 95 miles per hour. Window for tropical storm force winds. Wednesday evening until Thursday afternoon. Threat to life and property that includes typical forecast. Uncertainty in track, size, and intensity. Potential for wind. Greater than 110 miles per hour. The wind threat has remained nearly steady from the previous assessment. Plan. Plan for extreme wind of equivalent Cat 3 hurricane. Force or higher. Prepare. Remaining efforts to protect life and property. Should be urgently completed. Prepare for catastrophic wind. Damage. ACT. Move to safe shelter before the wind becomes hazardous. Potential impacts. Devastating to catastrophic. Structural damage to sturdy buildings, some with complete. Roof and wall failures. Complete destruction of mobile. Homes. Damage greatly accentuated by large airborne. Projectiles. Locations may be uninhabitable for weeks or months. Numerous large trees snapped or uprooted along with fences. And roadway signs blown over. Many roads impassable from large debris and more within. Urban or heavily wooded places. Many bridges, causeways, and access routes impassable. Widespread power and communications outages. It shows it that it makes landfall at Tampa. Now, the question is, what will be the wind? Well, right now, just looking at this, the wind's 50 miles an hour. That's what we want to see. We want to see a tropical storm that he helps, you know, give moisture to Florida without tearing it apart. That's how powerful we are, people. We have the ability to stop storms and help minimize what the collective is being fed. The type of information that they're being fed is unreal. <clears throat> it's, it's off the charts as far as I'm back real time now. You can see here, I'm back at today's date and today's time. Now they're telling people it's 41 miles an hour as it wraps around. I can move it up there, it's 42. I can put it even, zoom in and, and get it. I know how accurate this is when it comes to kiteboarding because we needed 14 miles an hour just to get a, 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 kite, board, a kite up so we could actually get up on the board and it could zoom right into the beach and I could see exactly. So that's why I got full confidence in this thing. And I haven't used it in years because I haven't been in Jamaica in quite a while and hadn't kiteboard. But now we're coming up on a storm that I want to see everybody get together and help diminish. And I know we have the ability to do that because I've done it in my own life. Tornadoes, horrible thunderstorms, they have to go somewhere, but we can di di diminish them by believing that that resurrected power that we are and the love of Yahshua ben Joseph, we have the ability to minimize these storms. So this is one that we're gonna work with. Now that I felt to be moved in the spirit to make these videos. This would be video number one right here. And then as the days go by, I'm putting myself out there saying that we can do this. So I want you to help me by sharing this to Christ be, being people that actually being knowledgeable to really know what we're doing as a physical light as a light body being inhabiting a physical form for a very short time. The essence of what we are down to our DNA that is eternal, a light body being inhabiting each atom 
and within each atom is the spark of a photon that is equivalent to the power of all the suns of the Milky Way galaxy. All of the suns that are in our local galaxy. And we can believe with every ounce of our atoms and down to the very mitochondria cells in the DNA that we are becoming healthier and stronger and younger. And we have these abilities to not let anything that the dark is doing to the collective consciousness stop us from being able to minimize a pending disaster. The one in North Carolina got away from us. I'll just be right honest with you. We're not going to let this and get away with us, people. I want you to share this with all your Christ conscious people that actually realize who we are down as the I am presence of the self-realization of Christ consciousness living within each atom with the ability to minimize storms. No matter what the dark side has in mind, always remember your love by the Father, Mother, Creator of all things that are eternal. This world is passing away as we speak. The illusionary holographic nature of that simulation that we see outside of our eyes is not who we are and not where we're from. We're from eternity. We've always been and we always will be. You have the same Christ energy that Yahshua ben Joseph had. And he stilled the storm. You can do the same. So, all right. This is video number one on minimizing this storm. I want to play this for you real quick just to give you an idea of what this says. Stay informed with real-time updates on Hurricane Milton as it intensifies in the Gulf of Mexico. Using Windy.com, we provide accurate wind speed and barometric pressure readings, ensuring you have the most reliable information at your fingertips. Windy.com leverages advanced weather models like ECMOF, GFS, NOM, and NEMS to deliver precise forecasts, making it an essential tool for tracking severe weather conditions. Follow along to see the latest developments and understand the true impact of Hurricane Milton's high winds and atmospheric pressure. All right, thank you. I'll make an update as needed. And pray. Pray in, in the life and the love of who we are as, as the being of light that we are. Thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. And um, next time I'll show you how to embed one of these onto your own blog page or your own website and keep it as a documentary trail of what what you're helping do and we need all the help we can we can get from people that can know what we're talking about minimizing the storm while we're in this thank you